I'm here today to talk about what happened to my sister. Um, she had just finished college. She's extremely bright, talented, popular, sociable. Um, one night she was at a party with two of her friends. Um, according to Gardy, she left the party around half two to drop her two friends home. They say at about quarter to three, her car hit a lamppost, turned over mid-air and crashed. The engine caught fire. Her legs were trapped under the dashboard. The fire spread to the inside of the car, setting my sister alight. Apparently, uh, people at the scene attempted to free her and her friends from the car, but couldn't. Um, obviously, they weren't aware that the two other girls were killed instantly in the collision. The fire brigade eventually arrived and managed to free her from the car. The ambulance took her to the hospital. By the time she got there, she was barely alive. That was three years ago. She lost her hair, her nose in the, in the crash. She, fingers appointed on both hands. To date, she's had 60 operations, the most recent of which uh, she had her eyelid removed and had an operation on a cornea and now has partial sight. People say she's lucky to be alive, but my sister and I beg to differ. She doesn't really have much of a semblance of life. That's not her life. Needing 24 hour care all the time, completely dependent on someone. Initially I temporarily um, volunteered to take care of her, but I felt I couldn't leave her. I wanted to do it full time. I don't mind looking after my sister. I actually feel duty bound to look after her. It's not much of a sacrifice. I don't mind giving up my time. She's the sacrifice. She's the one that's been through the mill, not me. She's been through a lot more than I have. Authorities say the ecstasy in her system was the reason for what happened. I beg to differ. Could have been one of many reasons. Could have been that she had to avoid some oncoming traffic. There was a lot of people out in town. Could have been that she had to avoid a person. Could have been she had to avoid an animal crossing. Anything. We don't know. We weren't there. We'll never know what happened. Actually it makes me really angry when people say that, blame her, that it's her fault. They don't know. They, of course, they don't have the evidence. They don't have the facts. How do they know? How, how dare they say that? They don't know the facts. But the facts are this. That night, two girls lost their lives. And my sister now requires 24-hour care for the rest of her life.